All right, we're going to be doing a video on uh, our seminal pumpkins. And this is the, of the two plants that were planted on the uh, rabbit coop, this is the one that's a little less producing and a little less large. We will be eating seminal pumpkins within the very next little bit. That one there, my wife will almost certainly make me pick very soon to eat. And there's a couple on the other side as well. Um, and when I get over to the other side to show the pumpkins over there, I'm going to say that uh, we have encountered something this year that we've never encountered before. And uh, I'm not really sure. I, I think I know why, but I'm not completely sure. I'm trying to raise him up, get him up there to on the roof since he's that's what I want him up there for. The, uh, the larger of the two plants is doing very, very, very well. Um, as you can see, he is running along the uh, back and he is running along the side. And uh, he's also up on top. I don't know if I'm tall enough for you to see, but there's a couple of, uh, there's a couple of layers up in there. Um, they are very happy to hang. And I'm hoping that they will, being up like that, think they're hanging and uh, produce the larger fruit the way they normally do. But we'll see. And uh, anyway, he's doing very, very, very well. And he's, in spite of my wife's best effort, he's heading over towards the fence and into the rabbit cage. And as you can see, he's actually in the rabbit cage. Now, he's got to watch out with that one because the rabbits will eat the, le the green leaves. So, uh, all right. I'll be back in just a minute. Uh, um, this is the... Uh, the Seminole pumpkins that are growing on the other side of the property and again we've got some uh, some female fruit that be able to be picked in a couple of days um, we have encountered something this year I think I can explain it but uh, we'll find out uh, in the next year or so but uh, right there right there um, we have in, had a problem with uh, squash wine borers this year. Not borers. Uh, not squash. We have had a problem with squash bugs this year. Um, got another one? Two. Got two. Oh, yeah, they're even breeding. All right. And we got... Oops, my wife's taking that from me so I can squish them. Yes, I'm not going to uh, They were a breeding pair. I don't, I don't <laughs> deal dead. with them. That one's... That just dropped him. All right. He Go squished. into the chickens. Yeah, sometimes the chickens will eat those, and sometimes they won't. First time we've had that. With these, with these pumpkins, we have never had enough. You can actually see some damage here from uh, from the squash bugs. Um, and as a matter of fact, there's another squash. They got kind of dry. They were. They are planted in some of the worst soil on my property. <coughs> I have not done anything to improve the soil. Uh, and we got dry for a little period, and we That's started when they noticing a lot of damage to some of the plants. Now, some of the plants were doing well and had virtually no, no sign of damage or just a little tiny bit of damage from them. This plant here was doing very well, and the one up that I first showed on this side. Yeah, really nice ones. We don't have much problem with it. The, uh, when the plants are healthy and growing well... Uh, this is the first time I've ever had a problem with squash bugs, and like I said, and it's I, not been bad. No, I've had I've had a, a lot worse problems with other squash. Mm. If you dig in this soil right here, um, you don't have to go down but a couple of inches. Uh, actually, you ain't got to go that far, and uh, just just below that surface, you will find that it's clay, and it's very unimproved clay because I really haven't done anything on this side yet. There's another fruit back here that my wife will be after me to pick in just I'm the next ready day or to, so. to saute some <laughs> so. of these things and eat them. They're but, good. Uh, this plant here has had almost no damage. I've had some squash bugs on it and I've killed them. And, uh, but no eggs, no nothing like that. So uh, they, they still, if a plant is happy and healthy, I can still say I've had no problems with squash bugs. Um, the plants on the other side... Uh, I've killed a couple of adult squash bugs similar to previous years where you see a squash bug here and you see a squash bug there, you kill them and you don't ever find any eggs. 
So uh, I've got to modify what I said about this, the uh, Seminole pumpkins. If you plant them in an area and they are struggling, there's a really good chance you may end up with uh, squash bugs because this is the first time I've ever planted them in this kind of soil and this kind of an area. Um, so anyway, if uh, you like this sort of thing, I'd ask you to subscribe and watch some more videos. Thank you. Bye.